His state of the state address, and as he presented the dollars that he had outlined in the budget, there was nothing specific for uh, the chiefs nor for the royals. No state dollars yet. Reaction from the Jackson County Legislature's chairwoman is a countywide sales tax extension now heads to the ballot and still no final word on where a downtown Kansas City Royals baseball stadium might land. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. Tonight only on Fox 4, Jonathan Ketz talked with chairwoman Jeannie Lauer this afternoon. He's live now at the East Crossroads. John, speculation's growing that the Royals want to build their new stadium there. Lauren, that is true, but there is still no comment from the Royals about this situation. Chairwoman Jeannie Lauer, though, not surprised that in his initial budget, Governor Mike Parson doesn't have any money for the teams right now. At this time, we've already got that budget uh, already in the process, so well, without knowing those things. That is part of John Holt's conversation with Missouri Governor Mike Parson. As his office decides whether any money should go to the upcoming stadium projects for the Chiefs and the Royals. The thought earlier this month was the teams wanted to get this in front of Governor Parson because he may be more willing to give the teams money than whoever becomes the state's next governor in 2025. They're a business operation and I got to look at it from a business perspective. I got to see what's best for the state of Missouri. We show this portion of Holt's interview to Lauer Friday. It sounds as though he has similar questions to what I've had and the county executive has had in the county about uh, what their plan is, the location. Uh, what the sales tax is going to do. A day after Holt's interview, Governor Parson said his office will do what it can to support the Chiefs and the Royals, saying their economic impact is too great to lose. However, the unknowns of the Jackson County sales tax situation need to be resolved before any state proposal can be finalized. I had talked with Governor Parson about it to find out if indeed there was a commitment. And his concern was, first of all, that the tax would be put in place, but certainly that, again, we have two baseball teams and that the, the budget wouldn't support monies for two. Lauer also said Parson said the same thing about the Chiefs, even though they are the only NFL team in the state. Regardless of that, Jackson County residents will be voting on this issue on April 2nd. Also, uh, important to note, absentee voting, by the way, starts next month. John. Jonathan Ketz live in the East Crossroads tonight, and you can hear more from Governor Parson on his budget request this weekend on For the People. We talked about money for the Chiefs and Royals, plus his update on the Eric DeVolcan Air pardon request. Sunday morning at 10, right after Fox News Sunday.